how to begin creating a song project and an introduction into the functionality, tools, and interface of Logic Pro 9. A step-by-step -step process by Michael DiBenedictis. Step 1. Creating the new project file. Upon clicking the Logic Pro 9 icon in the bar on the bottom of the desktop, the following menu will appear. Click on File and select New. The following window will appear. Click on Empty Project. The following window will appear. Click on the circle for Software Instrument. The following window will appear. One is the default number of tracks. Click Create. The following window will appear. Let's zoom in on the MIDI instrument options. This is the first window of listed instruments that will appear. Beside it are many other options of instruments, just to give an idea of the range of MIDI instruments offered. We will pick a drum kit in the following steps. The multi-track display window will look like this. Let's get into the Piano Roll Editor to do some step time recording. After clicking on Piano Roll, I pulled up the window to give myself more range to write in. I added some notes to create a simple 1, 2, 3, 4 beat. Kick, snare, kick, snare, kick, snare, kick, crash beat. Next, we will separate out the three parts of the kit to their own individual tracks. I have set each piece on its own track, labeled each track, and pulled up the piano roll editor for the kick drum on the left. I have then spatially placed each part of the kit in a musical space using the mixing console on the right panel. On the left, we have the mixing panel for the crash. It is raw and unmixed. To start mixing, I will select each the compressor and channel EQ, activate the mix settings, and the panel on the right is what it will look like. The left panel is how the window appears when the EQs and filters have been activated. Next, I will set, on the panels on the right, a reverb effect on the crash. Next, I did some mixing to the kick and snare. After this is done, I will adjust the levels of each drum piece so they fit into the mix properly, as seen in the screenshots below. Next, we will add another track. In the following screenshots, we will add a new track. Once this is done, we can start the process of time step recording and mixing all over again until a fully produced song has been created. Click on Track and New. At the next box, select the software instruments, enter 1 and click Create. Then the new track is ready to be manipulated. This has been a quick and brief step-by-step -step walkthrough in how to begin creating a fully produced song track by track in Logic Pro 9. In this tutorial, we have seen the process of how to create a track, the process of setting EQs, effects, and filters, the fluid and functional ease of using the interface, a peek at the full range of MIDI instruments and effects possible, the process of step time recording, the ease of editing MIDI tracks. Obviously, this is only the tip of the iceberg that is Logic Pro 9. 
Many hours needs logged in creating and manipulating tracks, and much experimentation in recording instruments with external equipment like DI boxes, mixing boards, multi-channel interface units, instrument cables, and so on. This, however, is a brief intro into the use of Logic Pro 9. Personally, I enjoy this program because of its fluid logical ease and navigation of EQs, instruments, editing tools, etc., realistic quality sounds of its MIDI instruments, logical layout, interface, and display of digital signal readouts and level meters, etc., fast processing, non-glitchy dependability as a workstation. This has been How to Begin Creating a Song Project and an Introduction into the Functionality, Tools, and Interface of Logic Pro 9, a step-by-step -step process by Michael DeBenedictus.